Hey guys, this is Rohan, and today we'll be upgrading the RAM in an Alienware X51 from 4GB to 8GB. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is take all the plugs out of your computer and just sit, down, sit the computer down on a non conductive surface. There will be one screw on the back of the system that you're going to need to take out. Remember where you put all your screws because we will need them when we put the system back together if you didn't already know that. Alright, once you have that screw out, the panel will slide out just as I'm doing here, slide towards the front and lift up. Now take careful notice, it's going to be the side panel lights, they need to notice. You need to unplug those to take off the side of the system. Though my thumbs were too large to undo the latch, so I just set the panel gently down to the side. Next thing you'll need to do is remove the heat shroud on the processor cooling fan. There's two screws diagonal from each other. And once you remove that, you should see the two RAM sticks to the right of the processor. All right, once you've removed the heat shroud over the CPU cooler, the next thing you will need to do is remove the SATA cable from the optic drive. So we'll have more space to work when taking out the RAM slots, or sticks I should say. Okay, to remove the RAM sticks, press on a lever at the top of the stick, and then lift up. There, will be, there should be two dim slots. Any more and you don't have an Alienware. X51. Alright, now that we have both sticks out, it's time to place the new memory in. Alright, make sure you notice the notch in the RAM stick. Line up with the notch in the dim slot. And once you have it correctly positioned, just place it right in the dim slot. Now, when applying pressure, you're going to want to snap the lever at the top and hear a nice click as I demonstrate here. Alright, once you've successfully installed the RAM to your system and the system back together, we're going to make sure that the system is reading all the extra memory. So we're going to click the start tab at the bottom, type in system for system information. Once this is open, we're going to go over to the right side and look for installed physical memory. And right there we see 8 gigabytes, which means the system is reading all the extra memory that we just installed up from 4 gigabytes. Alright guys, thanks. I hope this video was informative and helpful. If there's any questions or comments, um, feel free to leave them at the bottom. I'll try to answer them the best I can, if I can. And, yep, thanks, guys.